so what about arm's length transactions? I know I can't buy my sister's house, fix it, flip it, sell it, but can I purchase a house with the intent of fixing it up and flipping it? And then when I go to sell it, then can she buy it? Can one of my family members buy it? Who is considered an arm's length transaction as far as when you sell the property, not when you first purchase it? Hmm. That's a great question, Stephanie. And I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I am not a legal expert when it comes to arm's length transactions. I'll be straight up with you. I would definitely talk to the folks over at Corporate Direct, ask them that question. Um, you know, I've definitely had family members, friends who have sold houses to each other many, many times. Um, and look, a lot of times family members will sell a house for a dollar. I know very often I was trying to find deals. I would look in the end. I would see why is this house? Why was this house sold for a dollar? The reason it was sold for a dollar is because you had to actually provide some value in the transaction. And it was a father selling a property to his son for a dollar. So I'm not entirely sure what sort of arm's length transaction issue would, I mean, as long as it's available, as long as it's available for other people to, 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 to make a, you know, to, to purchase, I suppose. But again, I would definitely talk to a legal team on that. I am not an expert in that. I will admit I'm not, I'm not afraid to say when I don't know something. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're going to buy it from your sister and fix up the house in order to sell it, I don't, I frankly don't see where there would be a legal ramification in that. After all, it's property. It's property. It's not a security. You know, it's property. You're buying a piece of property from a family member and you're fixing it up with your money and you're listing it for sale. And then your sister wants to buy it from you. Again, I, I don't see what the problem would be. I don't see the only thing I could see where it would be problematic. And I know this from just, you know, real estate brokerages and so forth is if other people didn't have access to this property from because you kept it from somebody um, and sort of like some sort of sleight of hand process. So again, talk to, in fact, you can talk to a realtor, talk to a, a lawyer about this in your state, because every state's going to be different, by the way. I uh, know Ohio's laws are way different on real estate than they are in Wisconsin. So please talk to a lawyer in that particular state as well to find out what the law would be around buying a property from a family member, flipping it after you fix it up to that family member if they're purchasing it from you. I, again, I don't see how there'd be a problem. You're selling a deed to someone and it shouldn't matter that that person is a sister. Now, it does make a difference if you are lending money to someone in a self-directed IRA that absolutely can't happen. That I know for sure on the self-directed side, that's where I'm an expert. So you cannot lend money to someone else in, in your immediate family from your self-directed IRA. That for sure can't happen. But as far as actually selling a house and someone's buying it and a deed is transferred, talk to a lawyer if, you've, if you're worried about that. Um, I just don't see what the issue would be. And I would love to hear a follow-up on that, by the way. Um, Stephanie, please call us back and help us with our audience here and tell me what state you're in and how different this would be from state to state. I would love to hear the answer to that. Interesting question. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Just go to morrisinvest.com slash Clayton. You can leave us a voicemail question and we will attempt to answer it here on the show. Try to keep them to about 30 seconds or less if you can. Um, now go out there, take action, become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time, everyone.